Hello and welcome back to the Zoya tutorial. Today we're going to be building a patch from scratch. We're going to be focusing on a synth patch today and go over the basics of subtractive synthesis. We're going to be making a monophonic synth with a filter section as well as a reverb that we're going to alternate the filter with an LFO. All right, so we'll start with a MIDI input. All right, so since we're going with the interface with the MIDI connection, we want an interface module. We're going to have a MIDI notes in. We want to set it to one output and we'll keep all the default settings for now. All right, so as long as I'm on the right MIDI channel, when I press a note on the key step, the gate will open and we can use that to send notes to an oscillator, filter, VCA, and all that. All right, so now we're going to put down an ADSR. So ADSR processes the gate in, so it's gonna be a control module. All right. Again, we're gonna keep all the defaults here. And ADSR has a gate input, so we'll take the output of the MIDI gate and hook it up to the ADSR. Right, so now when I press a note, my ADSR output will blink, depending on the settings I have. So I'm going to adjust these just a little bit. Now to get some sound in, we need an oscillator module. Right, and since that's processing audio, that's an audio module. We will adjust the oscillators a little bit. We'll set the first one to a triangle wave with the rest of the settings at default. And we'll pop down a second oscillator on a sawtooth. We're going to keep the bass note the same on both oscillators, so they're going to be tracking the same. Right, for this pitch to change, we're gonna to have to send the MIDI note to the oscillator. Right, so now when I press keys, it's going to change the pitch of the oscillator frequency output. Right, so next on our list is a VCA. Right, so we want to send the output of the oscillator. As we see, it's always outputting audio. So if we want to limit that with subtractive synthesis we want to put a vca to only open when we want it to All right, so let's put a stereo vca since it's processing audio it's an audio module we're going to do channels stereo everything else the same we're going to send the first oscillator to channel a and the second to channel b we're going to use the gate of the ADSR to open up the VCA. So now sound will process when I hit a note. Right, so next up is the filter section. Right, so we're going to send the output of the oscillators through the VCA and then through filters. So we're going to go to the next page here. I'm going to do state variable filters, which again are audio modules. We're going to plop two of these, keep the low pass output on. I'm going to use the copy function, so I select the module, shift copy, put it down. Now I'm going to take the output of the VCA left to the first filter and the output of the VCA right to the second filter. And we're going to send the filters to their own VCA we want to limit the audio because it's going to be quite loud. So the audio module, VCA, one more. We're going to change the color here just because it's not to make it different from the filter. And again, I want stereo. The difference here is I'm not going to open up the VCA gate. I'm going to set it to a specific level and just limit it to a low decibel so it's not overwhelmingly loud when I play and then send the 
filter low pass outputs to the VCA. After this, we're gonna send it to an effects module. We're gonna send it to a plate reverb. All right, so we're gonna send the VCA out to the reverb out, and then finally a audio module so we can finally hear our patch. I'm sorry. Finally, an interface module to hear our patch. Right, we will always have the gain control set on. We might limit that just a little bit. All right, that's the basis of our patch. Now we're gonna make some edits. We're gonna edit the parameters of the reverb just a little bit. The reason I chose the plate verb was for the EQ parameters. We're gonna be modulating these with an LFO in a little bit. Now let's get a little creative with the plate reverb EQ. Right, so right now I have it set to minus four and plus four to give us sort of band pass effect, but I want to modulate between the two. So I'm going to use an LFO. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down a stomp switch module on the first page. I'm going to set it to the left stomp. I'm going to set it to latching. All right. So when I hit the left stomp, it'll activate that stomp switch. That will be for our multiplier module in a little bit. So I want an LFO. So LFO controls CV, so control module. I'm gonna turn on all of the options just to explore them. So I'm gonna turn on swing, keep it CV input, change the phase. So I'm going to bump this up. All right, so I want to send the LFO to a multiplier because I'm going to use the value of the stomp switch to determine whether or not the LFO is actually working. So multiplier module next, again, control. We're gonna set one of the inputs to be driven by the stomp switch on the first page. All right, so then when I hit this, this will go to one. The second will go to the input. And I'm going to use this to increase the minus four up to plus four. So for me to get the plus four, I have to attenuate the connection a little bit. I'm going to go to 50% so that I get a even distribution. All right, so now it modulates between minus four and plus four on the low EQ at about three hertz. I want to do the same thing with the high EQ, but it, since it's a, at plus four, I want to go down to minus four, I need a CV invert. I'm going to send the output of the multiplier to 
to the CV invert, and then output to the positive 4 IEQ. But again, I want to diminish it to a 50% signal, so it's only going from minus 4 to plus 4. I'll increase the LFO speed just a little bit. All right, when I turn off the left stomp, it deactivates the LFO, and now my reverb is just at the default settings. A couple more improvements we want to make. Let us now modulate the frequency of the filter section. All right, so we're going to take the output of the ADSR and put it through a slew limiter and see if we can increase and decrease the frequency for the filters. All right, so we're going to put a slew limiter on the bottom here. Slew controls CV, so control module. I'm going to turn off linked here, linked means that the rise and fall times are the same, so I'm going to put them as separate, so we have separate rise and fall times. So again, I want the output of the ADSR to be the input of the slew limiter. I'm going to set it to three seconds rising and one second falling. I want to increase the filter of the the filter frequency of the lower filter. So I'm going to send the CV of the limiter out to this. All right, so since it's driven by the gate of the ADSR, the filter will increase as long as I hold down a key. Now, I don't want it to go all the way up to the max, so I'm going to decrease it to a lower connection strength. Just a little more. I want to do the same thing to the opposite frequency but take it lower. So we're going to use the same idea as the LFO and use a CV invert module. And send the output of the limiter the invert and then the invert to the second filter frequency. And we're going to limit that to a similar connection strength. And that is a synthesizer patch from scratch. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.